She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that feeds her. Hi guys, it's Rachel and I'm over here going to record a voiceover for the very first time. I'm going to show you how I labeled my Butterfly Trend collection. So I labeled all of these lashes for myself. Really, really, really time consuming so I hope you guys can appreciate the $5 price point because it did take a lot of time to um, keep it a cheaper production so I could sell it at a more affordable price so if you're interested just keep on watching the video and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more um, behind the scenes behind my lash business okay so we're gonna want to set up our desk really clean and organized have some hand sanitizer um, ready and have gloves on these gloves are suffocating my hands but at the end of the video what kind of gloves I ended up wearing when I labeled some other pairs of lashes so first you'll see these one dollar um, storage containers that I showed in a previous video when I did a haul of one dollar business finds at Dollar Tree so um, you could look at my business playlist to uh, find that video so this is going to be how the end product looks like, really cute, very kawaii, simple design. So let's take out um, some lashes, covered some info <laughs> with the big butterfly. Okay, so I do use good notes to just take some random notes and um, keep track of like um, lash names I want to remember, maybe some ideas about Instagram posts in the future. Okay, so now I'm showing you the Dymo um, little labeler I got from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below. So I love the Dymo and their different settings and options, it made it really easy to label everything by myself this time around. Because again, in my first collection, I had it done with my manufacturer. So I'm printing out the Queen Adonis label, picking out the size, um, they have different options. I ended up using um, the medium size, so that was perfect for the lash box on the left side of the box okay so we have I'm just messing around with the different settings and figuring out which size so again I went with the medium so I'm gonna go ahead and print that out super simple you can find those at Target too so it has a lot of settings and a lot of borders so it makes it fun labeler so it could be obviously used for other stuff besides lashes like how people um, label jars and stuff for the kitchen so that's how it looks like so now I'm gonna take um, the vinyl sticker that says um, my brand's name oh and this is the gloves that I was talking about that you should use in nitro exam gloves um, better than the gloves that I'm showing in the video right now because the stickers will stick um, to your gloves but if you use the nitro gloves just like how I showed that big Costco brand it will not stick so I guess that's a pro tip because right now we don't want to be just labeling everything with our bare hands kind of thing just for safety measures and wearing gloves too will also prevent having like um, prints on the stickers. So I am showing you how the box looks like when they are um, packed all together. So what you want to do is um, unfold it. Gotta make sure the sides are crisp so that the 
last tray can slip um, through on one end. And when I first um, did this, I kind of bent the box weird that made a crease. So um, if you can order a little bit more than what um, you need in total, just so you could have um, wiggle room for stuff that you might mess up on. So I was messing around and seeing where I wanted to put this sticker. So I figured on the side would be best compared to labeling it um, up front or behind on the back of the box. So here I'm using that purple tool. This is actually a tool for um, putting nail jewels on. So if you look that up, you might um, want to look up like nail technician tools or something like that. That would give you um, some tools to use on little items. So let's see. So now let's put in the lashes. Make sure they fit well. That you can see your design well. The Exo Kawaii baddie. You see that um, peeking out through the window, which was the main thing that I wanted. Stand out when labeling the lashes, so I chose to label it at the top of the lash tray instead of like on the box so that the butterflies could still stick through. Okay, and if you're here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Okay, and I'll catch you guys in my next um, build a business type videos. Thank you, bye.